to the channel, welcome back to the channel, whichever is you today, and welcome to, welcome back to the ultimate ace ranking, welcome from getting to most recent, and there fish this obviously song by song, give my thoughts and put into a list of my favourite to the favourite, which you can find in the pinned comment section below, the story so far, this is brought to you by Elise H, big love to Elise H, if you're curious guys why I'm a bit like, eager, let's say, to continue this, uh, I filmed these in bulk, these, uh, filmed them four episodes in, on, a, on the trial, uh, so this is the fourth episode of this recording session that I'm doing, and the last song I checked out was Undercover, and I'm literally checking this out right after Undercover. So that's why I seem a bit, like, energetic and hyped and everything like that. Because that song, as you can see in the pinned comment section below, is number one so far with a bullet uh, in my list. So anyway, that's not, that's not what this is. This is Mr. Bass. I'm hearing some sense. Oh my god. Boom boom boom. know I love sin. I have a sense addiction. Production on that song is awesome, man. Sit to the back. We're building. We're building. Y'all, we gotta do this. Very much my sound. One, two, three, four. No jack of Bujong, eh, but on egg, but a dujana. Three, four, five, six. My own sorry, what? It be much get on a girl. Do not pen on any may hope it will be a good man. Pre-chorus, that synth just washing over you. Then the build. Another gym playlist song right here. Two in a row. Oh my god, this bridge. Oh my god. Oh my god. So much my sound. So if you saw my last episode, guys, with Undercover, you know that with Undercover I went boom. Straight away after the song ended, boom. That's in the number one. Number one with a bullet. When you know, you know. This is the opposite. Because I do not know if it's number one or not. But I was not expecting it to be, like, with how much I just literally just finished recording, how much I loved Undercover, for this to instantly give me a headache. That's awesome. That's an awesome problem I have. Uh, I, yeah, I, mean, I don't know if I mentioned it on the Ace, Ace Ranking series yet. Yeah, I love synth. Uh, I'm incredibly nostalgic for synth. I love 80s music. 
Um, but I just love synth in general, synth wave, synth pop, any synth elements in songs, it's just like a cheat code for me. Um, that had a lot of it. That had a lot of synth, but also the beats that were happening with it too, the bass lines, the vocals, the chorus was a lot of fun. Um, amazing bridge. Oh my god, amazing bridge. Uh, when the instrumental just took took over for a second, I love moments like that in K-pop, where they're not afraid to like have an instrumental take over for quite a lengthy time. And then for them to come back in, I thought the I thought the song was going to end after that instrumental when it was just the instrumental, but they came back in, which I thought was a really nice surprise too. Um, oh, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun, and that going to gym playlist as well. Oh, here we go. This is easily the toughest decision so far in this ranking series for Ace. Easily. Just to give you guys a, a, a warning, I have been sat here. Uh, in the past, I think it was Dream for Dreamcatcher, my old group, and I was sat here deciding where to put Boga. If anybody shared that one, highly recommend, by the way. Um, I was here for 20 minutes. <laughs> Decided to rag it. When I say 20 minutes, I'm not on about from the start of the video to the end of the video. I'm talking about the song ended, and then I'm there for 20 minutes trying to figure out where the hell to put it in the ranking. Just to prepare you, that could happen. I don't know if it's going to happen here, but just to prepare you, I like to put thought into these. Because once that, once that red button goes off and I stop recording, I cannot change my, my, uh, my position. And it says a lot about Undercover, guys, that that song was a synth song. Synth pop song, Mr. Bass. And it was a banger. And it had synth music in it. Undercover was had had rock infused guitars and stuff in it. It wasn't a rock song or anything like that. It was certainly an okay pop song, but it was infused with rock. Two genres I love, rock and synth and synth music. But the thing is, what I'm thinking in my head is that Mr. Bass was awesome, so much fun. Everybody had a great part. But Undercover, it not only has those ama that amazing vocal melody I love with the chorus, but also the rap verses are amazing in that song too. Like my favorite rap verses in their song so far. So because of those two aspects, I think, yeah, I think that's what takes it over. Uh, so I'm gonna put Mr. Bass still, still easily in the second position. I would say uh, above Dessert and below Undercover. But it put up a really good fight. Let me say that because I was. I was not expecting to have a bit of a headache straight after how much I loved Undercover, to be totally honest with you guys. I was not expecting that. And that's an awesome problem to have, like I said. So, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you did. Big love to Elise again for making this happen. Where does it go for you? You may not vibe with this song at all, uh, which is completely fine. M music tastes and all that, completely fine. Let me know if it's a bit mid for you, if you loved it, or if you're not so much of a fan of that song. Um, and please subscribe, because plenty of Ace on the way with the Ultimate Ace ranking. Hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day, morning, afternoon, night. Whenever you're watching this, please take care. Much love.